Sixers, internet, hello, happy Wednesday. We're so glad you're here. Hope you're having a great morning. Today, Sinia Mediterranean, kind of on a search for like the best shawarma in the city. So this today will prolong that. Uh, beef and lamb shawarma wraps. Glad you were here. Yeah, and for our uh, shout out today, we're gonna do a donation shout out. Sorry, sir, uh, excuse me. Eat. We're doing a donation shout out to a, a good old friend of mine, Eric Lytle, man. I love that kid. He's one of my favorite people from Toledo. He donated 10 bucks to us. If you guys wanna donate, check out our Venmo at number six with cheese or PayPal, which is linked on the homepage of our uh, YouTube channel. And then also, don't forget, if you wanna communicate and chat with us in the uh, comment section, uh, stay to the end of the video, because we're gonna give a comment prompt after we do our rating. Uh, so that, that way we can talk with you guys. Starving, hungry, you're here, let's go. Excited for this one, a couple of shawarma wraps in that bag from Sinya Mediterranean acquired jump cut. Time to devour some lunch, but first, the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's roll this bad boy open. Oh, they cut it in half for us, thank you. Makes this part easy. Oh, look at that. So what do we got in here? We've got ourselves uh, beef and lamb, and then we also have hummus, tomatoes, onions, pickles and some tahini sauce in here. I'm excited for They this. look to have grilled it very well. Yeah. There's such a, man, that looks great. And on the big camera, because we got it, bada boom, bada bang. Sinya, cheers. Cheers. Okay, it's still not what I'm looking for. It's a little, it's better than what we have. It's a little mediocre. I love the grill, like the construction's perfect. Mm -hmm. Legitimately five out of five about how easy it is to eat this, everything's staying together. A touch of a lack of flavor. I have such a specific swarm of flavor that I'm looking for and I'm not getting it yet. What is it? Do you know what it is? it like when you bite, you know? Yeah, I can't, cause I don't know the ingredients well enough to know. Mm -hmm. All I know is it came through when we did that place with Bobby. Yep. And I haven't found it since. Crave Kebab didn't have it. Remember that place we went to in So Florida? I don't have memories of Crave Kebab. So I guess you so don't. They, they probably The place could has have. to stand out for you to, yeah, you gotta remember it for it to be great. I feel like Crave Kebab was really good though. I, I do remember area. loving it. I live right there, so I ended up getting it a lot. I go in there, they give me free food. I was like, you don't have to do that. They're not gonna mm -hmm. take it. I was like, man, Mediterranean can get expensive. Mm hmm. When you get like a few different things, you know, I was like, man, thank you. I remember they had really good baklava. Great baklava. Their falafel was amazing. Their house made hummus was unreal. Mm, I love hummus. Yeah, this is like just like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not like hit it out of the park. Mm -hmm. And on this show, we're looking for the best shawarma. This is not the best shawarma. I will say, I do like this decidedly better than the last two spots. Me too, like, me too. By a good stretch. We're moving on up. Yeah, those were like very average. Maybe the shawarma that I had before was just all great shawarma. But since it's the only shawarma I had, I considered it all average. Right. And now I'm finding out the average shawarma is actually way below. And maybe this is actually better than average. Oh, the meat's like a little dry. A little bit. A little bit. Like, cause it's coming off of that spit. Like it should be so, like, I don't know. I like the sauce with it. The tahini is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's so funny how much my palate and expectations have changed in six years of doing this oh show. My God. If I would have eaten this in 2016, but that's great. I'd be like, wow, this is a great shawarma. Mm -hmm. You start to have all these world-class places and it really does like, your expect, you like need, you need to hit like a seven to be happy. <laughs> yeah, we're so spoiled now. <laughs> mm, the hummus is pretty good. I finally got like a good hummus bite there. I finally did at the end. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where they put in it, because that's the only place I ate it, too. Yeah, you saving that? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking, too. The great ones, I'll finish. I, oh. I can't control that. I won't be able to stop eating. Exactly what it is. But these places that are like average, or even this is like maybe, maybe if like, let's say this is a little above average, I don't mm -hmm. know, but. Definitely above average. Those places, I'm like, I'll save that. Also, shawarma is so good, re like reheated. Microwave for 20 to 30 seconds, air fry for a minute. Done. And I can add my own hot sauce. Yes. I can add other sauces to enhance it. Maybe try to like put a little jalapeno on there. Which I'm gonna go ahead and re-apologize that I didn't bring any Sixer sauce. We'll get like it. That would have enhanced it. We'll, we'll get, get liquid on there. To we'll, oh, it would have made it, it so much better. But then we're doing their job for them. It's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, I mean, either way though, I get excited about knocking other restaurants off the list. Mm -hmm. I love in conversation when like randomly somebody be like, yeah, I go to this place like Sinya. I'll be like, I just had that. Like I love being able to have the knowledge. Yeah, the conversation with people. Knowledge is power. Um, but we gotta rate it. We gotta rate it. Out of five, who's someone that sins a lot? 
Oh, Corey Wagner, dude. Out of five Corey Wagner dudes, how many Corey Wagner dudes do you give the Sinia Mediterranean, the wrap, by the way, after tax was just a titch over 12 bucks each? Oh, that doesn't help. Out of five, Corey, what do you give it? Um, I think it's a pretty like little fast casual spot. It's probably nice and convenient if you live in the direct area. The price, I didn't know the price. I think it was overpriced. I mean, it's a pretty hearty sandwich. I guess I'll fill you up, but I don't know. I'd expect like some sides or something like that for that type of money. Yeah. And it, I didn't, so, or the flavor to be better than that. That's Mediterranean Chipotle. It's Mediterranean Chipotle. And uh, you're paying, and you, I didn't even pay for the guac and I still got charged like I got paid for the guac, <laughs> that's, that's, you know? that's it right there. It was, it was good, not great. Uh, I want there to, I, I don't know what I'm looking for, guys. I still want there to be a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna keep hunting for it. But I mean, still above average. I'm gonna go with a 2.9. Close to being a three, yep. but not quite. I'm just under that. I um, probably should have lowered it because of the price, but that's The fine. price is hurting it a lot. Uh -huh. uh, I think the thing that I'm, the sauce was good and everything. The meat was dry and it didn't have that like tender bite. Yeah. Like, some of these spit roast like beef and lambs, like this, since I lived over there and I had Crave Kebab all the time, when I would bite into it, you get that like feeling of like, it's like the very first time I ever had smoked meats. I was like, mm. whoa, it's like the, yeah. how tender meat can be. That felt a little bit like not on that caliber. And so when you have a dry meat and like that's the best thing in it, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, a little above average though, like definitely not bad. 275. There you go. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, put your alerts on if you're a real G. That would be freaking awesome. Do it. Uh, and then here's a question for you guys today. What's your favorite go-to order at a Mediterranean spot? Or not your favorite go-to. Let me see what's your favorite thing to order. Because mm -hmm. if you go for a meal, you're like baklava, I'm thinking specifically. Yeah, because you might go like, in there like, I'm starving. I'm just going to get only baklava. Oh, you've never met my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> she literally would do that. But yeah, that's a good point. Baklava, you got some of the, the hummus you were talking about. The, you ever had their deep fried pitas? Yeah, those because you like the pita With chips. Pita it. chips. Uh -huh. Oh my! The house God, made ones. Is nice. I think Mediterranean top to bottom has one of the most diverse menus, like yep. best menus, like them, top to Italian bottom. or not the Italian, Italians, them, Indian, the Mexicans. Yeah, I just start naming every race. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has great food. Comment your favorite thing at a Mediterranean restaurant. What you get. And we'll come on ours. Uh, all right, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow, though. Uh, in yesterday's live, uh, which we, we this is the following week, we did went live yes, we went live in real time yesterday, a week ago today, yesterday. <laughs> um, and we, I asked people at the end, I was like, what should my pick be today? There's a Korean wing spot in Old Town that's supposed Never to be good. Never heard of it. So we're gonna go snag Korean food tomorrow and check it out. So come on back. We're glad you're here. My, one of my favorite things to eat is Korean wings, bro. I would put, I'd put them in your top five. If I was building a top five for you, yeah, I would not be an idiot. Definitely would be there. So come on back. Thank you guys so much uh, for supporting us, and we'll see you very soon. This shirt's coming out soon.